Well, good afternoon. Uh, sorry about the weird kind of camera angle. Usually you're more right in front of me. But we just had a, uh, like it, it's half the sky is sunny. Like I can see all the way to freaking Saturn right here, right there. Um, it's it's a gray sky. But uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. If you want, if you're curious about what I have been doing over the last couple of months, because it has been, today is uh, Tuesday, May the 30th, and I actually have not done a cigar review in at least a month. We've moved locations and all that. If you're curious, stick around till the end, uh, and I'll fill you in. If you are not curious, uh, just that's fine too, because we're going to get right into the review of, of this cigar. And, you know, if you stick around to the end, you're going to get all that other stuff. You can just click off and YouTube tracks all those wonderful statistics about how long you don't stay on a video. But we're going to smoke a cigar today before it goes into the Adventure Club. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars and find what you want to smoke, determine if it's a good value for your money when you go into a cigar lounge. So when you go to CigarScore.com, if you've not ever been there, you can go to CigarScore.com right on your phone, mobile device, or even on your computer and hit the Find Near Me button. We're gonna use your location to tell you where you can go and get a cigar within just a few minutes drive and you don't have to suffer through uh, this rain that's coming down it's a light rain but it's just like psh. but you can use cigarscore.com to find place inside temperature controlled comfortable seats free wi-fi you can filter on our system by all the things that you are looking for but with that said normally we do a review of a cigar after it's already shown up in our monthly subscription club over at uh, CigarScoreLounge.com. We're still working on the lounge, by the way. I'll fill you in here in just a second on all that. But normally we review cigars that have already come out in that box. Today we're gonna be doing the AJ Fernandez New World Puro Especial. I've never had this cigar, but we are planning on shipping this out so if you are a subscriber, this will go out in the June box if you chose this as one of your fives. But this is the New World Puro Especial Robusto. It's a five and a half by 52 Robusto. And um, if I like it, we're gonna send it out. If not, well, you might not ever see this video. And anyway, let's get this thing out of the cellophane, take a closer look, and then I'm gonna get smoking. All right, these light rains kind of remind me of Hawaii, but here we go. New World Puro Especial. Let's take this thing out of the cellophane. You can also see it right there. This is straight from our store, so I don't have the chance to put, or I have not had the chance to put the Cigar Score Cigar Date label on there. But let's do this. We'll get it out of the cellophane. And this looks very much like other New World cigars from AJ Fernandez. It's, it's a good looking cigar, but it's kind of got this mottled look. I don't know if that's the right, even the right word, but you see how there's like little white flecks on there? This looks like a leaf that I have seen before. I don't know a lot about this cigar, but I think the Puro Especial, maybe it's all Nicaraguan? I don't know. Someone will tell me in the comments section below or we'll figure out here in just a second. But here you go. Um, good looking cigar. What is this? Five and a half by 52. Puro Especial Premium Age Cigar. Yeah, there's not a lot to it. I mean, the wrapper and band are very nice looking, but there's not a lot to the cigar. So we're going to start the timer here and the summer storm. I mean, it doesn't feel like summer, but it's kind of summer, especially in Texas. It just kind of blew through here. All right, let's see here. The draw is kind of tight. It's very sawdusty. And someone the other day uh, told me, Oh, I've never tasted leather. Or on YouTube, they commented, oh, I never tasted leather. Well, I'm not exactly out there licking shoes or belts, but the same aromas that you get from smelling a leather belt, maybe that's the guy's problem. He's never had a real leather belt. Uh, maybe, <laughs> he's probably going to argue with this. Anyway, uh, you know, you kind of get those same things going on in your mouth. And this one is like sawdust.
Once lit though, there's some not, oh, this is gonna be strong. It's gonna be bold. Although it says Puro Especial that tastes like a Connecticut broadleaf, but there's also something in the background that is sweet on this. Very, oh yeah, okay. Very strong hints of a light sweetness, like a powdered sugar or an angel food cake kind of sweetness. It's not overwhelming. It's not just in your face, sweet and sugar and candy. It's kind of like that dusting of sweetness that's in an angel food. While I wish the draw was a little bit more open, perhaps, the I'm getting plenty of smoke. I don't know how that works. Got a nice, if lopsided, cut there. All right, S strong. That first puff had a little sweetness, not so much anymore. Let's pull up the internet and let's learn about this AJ Fernandez New World Puro Especial Robusto together. It is tingling my sinuses on the retro hail. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna pull up the internet. We're gonna learn about this thing. Okay, so I I was right and wrong. I stand by the fact that I think this tastes like it has a, a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper on it. It has those same strength, uh, higher nicotine character, flavor profiles as that, but it's actually a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, a Nicaraguan Habano binder, and filler tobacco from Nicaragua. And one thing that you will notice is this wrapper is got the New World kind of art on it, and it's got this gold here. I just want you to make sure that you are looking at that. Because when you go to our website, the box is red and some of the labels red. The Robusto has a different label than the rest of these. So we're talking about the same thing, but the labels are slightly different. And I'm pretty sure the Robusto is this gold and the other ones are red. So a box of Robustos is a box of 20, 181.99 today. So that puts these about $9 or so, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. The prices are going up across the board. I wish I, I don't make any more money when they go up. I have no incentive to raise prices other than my prices are going up. So I don't know, call your congressman, tell the people in Nicaragua or whatever to, to vote for less taxes. I don't know what's causing all the prices. Anyway, uh, strong, it is strong. This Nicaraguan Habano. So a Nicaraguan Habano, I guess is gonna be uh, different than an Ecuadorian Habano. You're getting a lot of, it's much darker than an Ecuadorian Habano would be. We're getting loads of strength we're getting like a, a, a wispy mention of sweetness on there. It is a strong cigar, no doubt about it. I don't know if I like it yet. So anyway, stick around and I will let you know how it's going. And again, if you are interested to know what brings me here, stick around to the end and we'll talk about it. Okay, we're about 50 minutes into this Puro Especial. It's a Nicaraguan Puro, Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano binder. And um, right now, it is not a bad cigar. I just think it's kind of one dimensional. And I've talked about this in other cigars. Uh, I don't know if you can hear all of that thunder or not, but um, we're staying dry out here. Anyway, um, there's not a lot of complexity to it. We haven't had a whole lot of flavor developments from the very beginning to where we are here kind of in the middle. And I talked about the draw kind of being tight but still being able to get plenty of smoke. And that's still mostly the case even though the humidity out here is probably nearing 90%. Anyway, so we've got a cigar that's not changing a whole lot. It is very strong. I'm not getting much more of the sweetness, but I'm getting strength and some of that sawdust flavor from the cold draw. So it's not bad. The construction's fine. The draw could be opened up, but again, I'm getting plenty of smoke. I just uh, so far don't love it. 
yeah so that's kind of where I am on that stick around we'll probably go for about 75 minutes on this Robusto which is a little bit long for a Robusto but it was five and a half and the draw is a little bit tight so those are two things that are gonna bump us over an hour for a typical Robusto so stick around I'll let you know my final thoughts on the AJ Fernandez Puro Especial Robusto <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put that down. We are at uh, an hour, 75 minutes on the dot. How do you like that? So, um, I, I didn't love the flavors on this. The construction was pretty good. We had an even burn. And if you're wondering why we had to move the camera, uh, things were starting to get a little bit wet out here. I'm wet from the, the knee down. And I don't think the humidity actually impacted the cigar. I know I did a, uh, a 601 cigar review when, when we were in Cincinnati. And that cigar just seemed to, to, to soak up the rain like a sponge. And it was like smoking through a wet rag. And that was a bad experience. This one, however, was a... I mean, I didn't like the flavors so much. But the experience was very good. The flavors, as I mentioned before, were kind of one-dimensional. They didn't, not only did they not change from beginning to middle to end, but there was just the strength. There was not a lot behind it. Something kind of maybe woody, that sawdusty that I talked about before. But there was no sweetness after that kind of initial hit, if you will. That initial first puff. That had the, the, a little bit of sweetness in it, but that was the only time. And all I tasted was just that dark Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. And again, I think it tastes kind of like a Connecticut Broadleaf. This cigar was similar, in my opinion, but not as good to the Cohiba Black, which that's, you know, a $25, $28 cigar, something like that and it's you know it was better this one just kind of tasted i don't want to say flat but beyond the strength of what i assume was the wrapper I, I didn't taste just a whole lot more so we're gonna put this in the adventure club because the construction of the cigar was fantastic but somebody will really enjoy this cigar someone will enjoy this flavor and i was very excited to smoke this one for the first time. I've enjoyed some of the other New World cigars. I really enjoyed the Dorado, which we put in the Adventure Club. So I was excited to be able to try this one. It deserves a cigar score of four. If I'd liked the flavors, if there had been a little bit of complexity, if there had been two flavors, it would have gotten a five. The construction was good. So it, it earns more than a three. But I just didn't love the just straightforward, uncomplex flavors of this cigar. So a cigar score of four for the AJ Fernandez New World Puro Especial Robusto. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. I hope you have an amazing day, and as always, happy smoking. And if you're curious about what we've been up to, stick around. Okay guys, so uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. That shows, hopefully hopefully you heard that, that thunder and hopefully we don't get soaking wet out here. Uh, sticking around to the end tells YouTube that you like this content. So if you're sticking around, I th thank you for doing that. And uh, thank you for being curious about uh, what we have been up to. So I mentioned we're here at the very end of May. And the last cigar review that I actually did, it was probably in April. It might have actually been March. I could tell you if I was looking at file dates on my computer, but we have, as you may or may not have known, known we were out in Mount Pleasant, Texas, which is like two hours. Uh, if I'm going real fast, I can make it now in 45. If you look at Google Maps, it's like two and a half hours. But uh, we were out of Mount Pleasant for right at two years. So when you saw RVs in the background, 
that was that that was there we're no longer there we also opened our business when we were out there cigar score lounge was hatched out there um, my wife had just been diagnosed with double breast cancer and we sat there and we had the conversation well what if we took this 10-year plan 20-year plan and rushed it to become like a two-year plan and right now uh, we're going to be probably uh, uh, what's uh, hard pressed to get it in in two years because we've had at this point two retail locations, two lounge locations leased out from under us. The second one, we actually had a signed letter of intent. They knew that we wanted to take the spot. They knew all of our timelines about meeting with the city and getting approvals and all that stuff. And we got screwed. The leasing agent screwed us on that big time. But uh, I, I am a firm believer that uh, challenge and opportunity are two sides of the exact same coin. So in every opportunity, there's a challenge. Uh, in any challenge, there's an opportunity. And I think the opportunity there is that we can save some money, maybe, because that was incredibly expensive, um, over $8,000 a month for a space that is half the size of our house. So... Uh, you know, it could be a blessing in disguise. So we, we moved our RV. We just sold it a few days ago. We closed our office out there. We have opened a new office here in Midlothian. We're about 30 minutes south of Dallas, probably about 45 southeast of Fort Worth in a small but growing very quickly uh, town out here. And we've moved, every, we've got everything in our house. We've got into our new office, the new address is on the website as of now. And and I'm just hanging out with you here at the end of this video. And this, it's strong. Um, you know, you're getting a little bit, if you watch through the video, you're, you're getting, you already know my final thoughts on this as I'm recording this in the middle of the cigar I'll tell you that I'm not sure it is not bad but it is it is straightforward strength but anyway we're 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 still planning to open a cigar lounge in Midlothian Texas not Waxahachie not Mansfield we live here we want to be a part of this community and contribute to this community we are doing events uh, at, at restaurants and, and bars and things around town while we look at a retail space. But um, if you had not followed, my wife is cancer free after multiple surgeries. That's not new news, that's old news. But she's got a job here in DFW and we are hard at work uh, avoiding the rain at the moment, but uh, wanting to open open the lounge and through that moving process we did not do i did not do a whole lot of cigar reviews so it's just been a very very busy month so anyway thanks for watching uh, i appreciate you being here and uh, we're going to roll the credits we'll see you next time